Aloha, and welcome back to Live at the Legislature. I'm the Senate Communications Director, Jesse Broder Van Dyke. My guest this week is Senator Kai Kahele, who represents Hilo on Hawaii Island. With the reconvening of the legislature this week, Senator Kahele is joining his colleagues in the Senate while still on full-time National Guard duty as a member of the Hawaii National Guard's COVID-19 Joint Task Force response. He's one of the first guardsmen in the entire country to serve as an elected official in an official capacity while still on full-time National Guard duty dedicated to the country's COVID-19 national emergency response. Senator Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. Aloha. As thanks. a lieutenant, aloha. As a lieutenant colonel with the Hawaii Air National Guard, you were activated to active duty on April 14th. What have you been doing for the past month on this pandemic response? Well, you know, I joined the joint task force um, that was stood up uh, in early April to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic across uh, the state of Hawaii. And, you know, myself, and along with um, almost 1,300 National Guardsmen, both um, airmen and soldiers across the state, um, are participating in the uh, COVID-19 uh, response. And so um, I came over to Honolulu working out of the Joint Task Force headquarters and basically working on the um, movement of troops and uh, airmen all over the state to support the different counties and their um, relief efforts and requests for relief and requests for support that they've been um, channeling through HIEMA uh, through their respective um, emergency management uh, agencies. And the president recently, recently extended your and your fellow service members' orders until the 24th of June. So what should we expect in the coming months of this pandemic response? Well, uh, that's true. The president just extended the orders until the 24th of June. And so um, we're in a situation here in Hawaii where we have um, the federal government that has decentralized um, that uh, effort and support to the various states um, and their respective governors, um, but is essentially footing, footing the bill. And so most of us um, at least all of us here in Hawaii and most of the other guardsmen across the country are all on Title 32 status, which basically means the federal government is paying um, the bill and the respective governors retain control over their uh, National Guardsmen. And so initially it was a 31 day activation. Most of us came on um, with orders ending about the middle of May. Um, that was extended to the 31st of May. And then it was just extended this weekend to the 24th of June. Um, and so, you know, we have a unique opportunity here in Hawaii when um, money is tight and budgets are tight, where we have, uh, you know, over 1,200 National Guardsmen that have been essentially mobilized and are activated serving here throughout the state. Um, and it doesn't cost the state of Hawaii taxpayers any money out of our state general fund uh, or putting them on state active duty um, or anything like that. So, I think what's really important is how we're using those um, uh, soldiers and airmen. Are we using mm -hmm. them to maximum uh, capacity and op the optimal use that we can be using them? And I'm just not sure we are. That's interesting. So we have this federal funding, but you think that the use of the National Guard could be used better? Absolutely. Um, you know, we have, you know, I mean, our National Guardsmen are doing a great job across the state. They're doing um, temperature screenings at the airport, they're doing security at various different locations where we need that support. Um, they're helping out wherever the different county mayors are requesting their assistance. And we're seeing uh, a pretty good optimal uh, utilization of those forces on the island of Kauai, a pretty decent amount on the island of Maui, and, and not so um, uh, good use of our, our troops on the island of Hawaii Island. So we always look at troop to task. Are we, are we using our troops in the um, appropriate manner? Typically 70% is what we look for. Um, where we're not burning guys out, but we're also making good use of them and what are they actually doing? And so that's where I think uh, we can be doing a much better job. You know, the way I look at it as, um, you know, we potentially, if most of our uh, activation terminates on the 24th of June, we will essentially have had almost three months 90 days where we have had over 1,200 National Guardsmen across the state. And if we don't have a robust contact tracing program established, um, you know, if we don't have uh, um, different uh, the unemployment issues solved at the Department of Labor, where we have 
you know, over hundreds of people that still haven't received unemployment benefits, and we haven't stood that them up yet, then that is really a waste of, um, you know, uh, people that we could have utilized and, and underutilized them. That's good to know. Uh, well, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, you're the majority floor leader and chair of the Water Land Committee, and the legislature resumed its session yesterday. What should we expect to happen in this abbreviated session? Well, you know, the legislature convened to um, address a few important bills to um, uh, supplemental uh, budget that we were working on and to appropriately um, allocate how the, you know, almost $800 million of federal money through the CARES Act is going to be appropriated. I know they're looking at a about $100 million going to HIEMA, um, uh, distributing money to the various uh, three counties, Hawaii, Maui, and Kauai, that did not receive any funding because of their uh, population counts, uh, which was in the CARES Act bill, and also replenishing the rainy day fund that is going to be currently utilized to help people um, you know, get through this crisis as well. So that's one thing. And then the other part, at least where I'm directly involved in, is the um, advice and consent um, process that the Senate uh, um, is uh, entrusted and empowered with to um, hold a confirmation um, hearing on the governor's messages and the different confirmations to the Waterland Committee's purview. So Department of Land and Natural Resources uh, for the Board of Land and Natural Resources, uh, Island Reserve Commission, Sea Worm, Ahamoku, Land Use Commission. We're going to have a, a robust hearing tomorrow. We have 38 nominees uh, that the Waterland Committee will be hearing um, and to uh, uh, send their nominations to the full Senate for a vote. And all of those hearings and Senate floor proceedings will be live on Olelo and on Naleo on Hawaii Island. So thank you so much to the crew at Olelo for helping us uh, provide public access while the building is closed. And thank you so much, Senator Kaheli, for joining us. On a personal note, I know you have a young family. How's your family and your wife handling this pandemic crisis? I mean, they're okay. You know, I, I imagine like uh, most families throughout Hawaii, um, you know, it's tough right now. You know, kids were abruptly uh, pulled out of school. Uh, things were closed. Um, and, you know, it was a big, big disturbance in many people's lives. And, you know, for myself personally, having to come here to, uh, to Oahu and, and um, leave my family, like most other guardsmen across the state that have deployed to the various counties, many of them missed uh, being with their wives and mothers on Mother's Day this past Sunday. And so I know it's tough on our families. And um, it's, it's tough uh, on many people who are struggling right now. And um, especially those that have been laid off, lost their job. Um, you know, it's something we need to address as a state. You know, on a personal note, today's my wife's birthday. And so I just, uh, she's in Hilo today. And I just want to wish uh, my wife, Maria, a haole lahanao, a happy birthday. And I just want to tell her I love her. And thanks for raising our kids and holding the fort down while I've been gone. Awesome. Uh, happy birthday, Maria. And thank you so much for joining us, Senator, and thank you to you and all your National Guardsmen for your service during this critical time. And thanks to everyone at home for joining us this morning on Live at the Legislature. Aloha. Aloha. Thank you. Mahalo.